Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be reviewing the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Here it is. I have seen some people use it and I've read some reviews already on it. Some of the reviews that I have read um, stated that it really didn't add any color to the skin. Um, this is one of the products from one of our Ipsy bags. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. Um, I also know that just like... So I've read a lot of reviews that says like it doesn't actually add any color to your face and the reason why it is so small is because it's just a sample size um, from Ipsy. I have the smallest tier, but we're definitely going to give it a try. Um, it's a tinted hydrator, so it's not supposed to be like a full face uh, foundation. It's something you could literally just throw on and go. Um, so it says whether you love a no makeup look or glam is your thing, you're going to be obsessed with this tinted hydrator. Lightweight and easy to blend. The buildable formula melts seamlessly into skin for no fuss application, perfect for busy mornings. It says tip, dot it onto your cheeks, nose, forehead, and chin and blend out using fingers. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm actually going to use a sponge to do it just because I really don't like to use my fingers and or maybe I'll do like half of it with like my fingers and the other half with the sponge. We'll see. We'll go for it. So here it is. Um, it, it does have very cute packaging. I'll give it that. It's easy to read, easy to tell what it is. Um, it looks very dark in the bottle, but hopefully it looks otherwise. When you first get it, it is sealed. We love a sealed moment. There it is. I do always get nervous that it is going to explode on me, though, because we all have seen that. Let me tell you. Okay. There we go. It has the world's smallest little pinhole sprout. Perfect. Just what we like. Okay. So, um, let's do this. Okay. So, a dot, I guess, over here. And we'll do a dot down here. And we'll do a dot over here. I have a really big forehead, so we might need to dot it twice, guys. Um, and once over here. I can feel it's very hydrating. It almost feels like a primer as I'm just rubbing the dots on. So I'll give it that. It does feel hydrating as it's going on. I did not want to put my hair up today, guys, because um, I just straightened it. So I'm trying not to mess that up okay here I go I guess I'm gonna try rubbing it in on this side oh okay that may not be my shade y'all maybe we'll see okay let's go for it okay here we go okay bring this up under the eye make sure we get it good Okay. okay, so it is very oily feeling, I will say that, um, and I now feel like it's all over my finger, so I am going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just go ahead and give it a try. Let's see what happens. I did forget the dollop on the nose. Um, so we can go back. So far, I'm not really getting a scent from it. Um, so we will definitely have to check that in just a minute. I'm trying to get this hair out the way, guys. I got hair for days. Um, I do have rosy red cheeks, so maybe it will cover a little bit of that. It is only tinted. My face is already primed and cleaned and ready to go. Okay, we did not do the nose yet. Let me get a dot for the nose. I totally forgot my nose. As if it didn't exist, right? It's like the biggest part of my face other than my forehead. Okay, there we go. So just a little dollop. So as I put it on, um, it just honestly has like a powder, not like a baby powder scent, but like a makeup-y, 
mineral scent to it um and that's not bad it's not overwhelming it's just you know that is the scent as i'm putting it on okay so let's go and take a look and just kind of see what we think so far putting it on um okay so it did blur some of the redness what do we think which side do we like better sponge finger sponge finger I don't know guys that's hard I almost feel like it doesn't really I personally feel like I like the sponge side I feel like the finger made it blotchy like trying to rub it in where this I was able to like pack it in you know and I bet you if you put maybe a little more you could get a little more coverage um, I'm not going to because I think I'll just go in with some um, concealer and that would, would, you know, help with it. I don't think I necessarily would need more. My other fear is if you were to put more that you would feel really oily because it is very hydrating and kind of oily feeling. So I don't know if you'd want to specifically put more on. Um, I mean, I like it. It's not bad. It is a tinted hydrator. It's not supposed to be a foundation and, and cover everything. It does seem like it almost is like giving a blurring effect, kind of like a filter would, so people can't see as much as imperfections. Um, like I said, I definitely like using a beauty blender with it more, and it doesn't make my hand all nasty and oily, and it doesn't seem as streaky and blotchy, because this is the hand side that we rubbed it in, and this is the blender side. I do like the blender better. So anyways, that is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I think it did what it was supposed to. Looks great, works great. It wasn't too oily. I mean, it is a hydrator, so there is gonna be some oil. Um, the shade looked a little dark, but it actually matched really nicely. It's giving a blurring effect, kind of like a filter would. Um, I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five star, five being the best, one being the worst. Um, definitely a five star guys. So that is it for today's review. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you get notifications whenever we are uploading and I will see you next time. Bye bye.